the first storm that can happen in our life is the one that God brings into your life not to punish you but to bring you back into his will Jonah went to a storm caused by God because Jonah was outside of the will of God and when he would run from the will of God he was actually the Bible says running from the presence of the Lord when we run from God's will we run from God's protection when we run from God's will we run for God's from God's power and we eventually run from God's revival and God brings a storm why not to get back at you but to get you back to his will the second storm that happened in the bible was when jesus was in a storm and that storm is mentioned in book of mark chapter 4 verse 35 so we see the difference jonah is running from the will of god and jesus is running in the will of god and both are sleeping one is sleeping because he's trying to get away from god's call and the other one is sleeping because he is hiding in god's call and the bible says a storm breaks out now this storm wasn't caused by God because this storm was trying to kill them and Jesus wakes up from his sleep and he looks at the storm and he doesn't pray for God to calm the storm he rebukes the storm it lets us know that this storm was not caused by God it was it was caused by the enemy who wanted to destroy them and sometimes God will calm you first before he calms the storm if you cannot sleep in it you will never be able to stop it remember one thing if you cannot sleep in a storm you will never have the power to stop it you can only give what you have if inside of you there is no peace you cannot give peace into your house if inside of you do not let your storm get inside of you because once it gets inside of you you will get up and be like disciples say oh Jesus we're dying do you think storm will stop because of that no storm will kill you you have to be like Jesus says disciples come down come down everything's fine don't interrupt my nap by the way he gets up and the Bible says he looks at the storm and he says peace be still why could he speak peace he lived in peace he slept in peace he said how can you sleep and when it's a hell breaking loose Jesus did peace is not absence of conflict it's the presence of a prince of peace whose name is Jesus Christ the first storm caused by God to get back into the will of God. The second, second storm is caused by Satan to stop us from the will of God. The third storm. And the third storm is recorded in Acts chapter 27. And we're going to bring this message to the conclusion. Acts chapter 27. This is Apostle Paul in the storm. What do you do when the storm came against you and you're rebuking it, rebuking it, rebuking it, but it seems like it's not stopping when it seems like storm is not subsiding trust in God but meanwhile get a surfing board and surf serve serve in your storm there are people who say because I'm sick I shouldn't pray for sick people not realizing first time word healing is mentioned in the Bible wasn't Abraham was commanded by God to pray for a Philistine king and Abraham was told to pray for women who were barren can you imagine Abraham started a healing ministry praying for barren women his wife was barren at home and people could have said to him Abraham how dare you pray for other women to be healed when your own wife you can heal her but Abraham was not like us. Abraham says, okay, God told me to pray. Abraham goes and prays for other women and God heals the women and comes back home and his wife cannot give birth to kids. When your storm is prolonged, don't stop serving. And God heals Abraham's wife. Same thing happened with our brother Joseph. Joseph goes into prison and instead of like Samson who went into same kind of prison and going into circles see Samson went into prison because he ran with lust Joseph went into prison because he ran from lust and Joseph instead of going in circles in prison Joseph became 
in charge of the prison. Joseph started a prison ministry. He woke up every morning and sees one person is not happy. He says, hey, how are you doing? Why are you not happy? You want me to tell you a joke? You want me to cheer you up? He says, no, I had a bad dream. Tell me the dream. And the man tells him a dream. And Joseph at that moment remembers, God gave me a dream that I will be in charge of a my brothers but look what happened to me and at that moment Joseph could have said you know what bro I think you ate too much pizza yesterday forget about your dream but Joseph says no 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 he says your dream means God is gonna do this and that how could you tell him that God is gonna fulfill his dream when your own dream is not being fulfilled but Joseph realized when you are in pain don't stop serving little did Joseph know the man he helped with the dream will become the man who will fill his own dream fulfill his own dream and Joseph helped the man two years later a few years later the man calls Joseph he says hey Pharaoh wants to see you and the rest is history surf through your storm